Hi, my name is Renato Becker and today we are going to talk about a very nice omni-chain of feature we call it by Caned Responses. So let's check it out. Okay, so what is Caned Responses? Caned responses are templated messages that allow agents to respond quickly to visitors, customers, etc. So if you often answer the same question, like I'm going to do here, Hi, how may I help you? So if you often answer this kind of question from customers, Consider saving those answers as candy responses, okay? So, to be able to do it, the first thing to, you need to do is to activate the candid responses feature, okay? So, let's go to the administration area, and here, let's type candid response, okay? And here, we are going to activate this feature. Now, we just save our configuration, and we are ready to use the can response. But before moving forward, it's important to say that this feature is only available on the Rocket Chat Enterprise offer. Okay? Perfect. Uh, now, we can see that here, uh, in this omnichain conversation, we have a new button here on the top right corner, okay? This, uh, this user, sorry, this user, this agent, actually my agent, uh, doesn't have any kind of responses configured yet. So let's create our first kind of response. So guys, as you can see here, we have two fields in this form. The first one is a shortcut that will help agents to find the canon response that they are looking for. So I use the same, I will create a canon response to provide the same message that I sent to this visitor. Okay, so I will create a shortcut here. I will call this by Sorry, I call this by greeting message. Okay, and I copy this same text here. Okay, and I will save this can response. Sorry, this can response. And now we can see that I have my first canned response here, and this is just one way to save can response. I'm saying that because as you guys can see here, this can response uh, is uh, has been created uh, by user, but we can also create can responses per department. Okay, but now let's just focus on this approach and let's see how to use the can response, okay? So now we can go back to the composer and here we will type the exclamation mark, okay? And this action will show a preview of the available can response. So let's say that I want to use the greeting message, okay? I will type Greet, uh, greeting and the system will uh, display all of the canon response that the shortcut matches with the text I just I, I, I am typing okay so obviously here I only have one canon response but let's see what happens is if I type another text here, like uh, who are 
the system did not find any kind of response that uh, the, the, the this text matches with the shortcut okay so I know that I have a greeting message and now I'm typing here and I can see the kind response that I want to use so what I need to do is to click on this message and then the text will appear here and will be available to agents and now I will send this message to the final user okay we can also create other uh, we can create as many can response we want so now I will create another one and I will call this by Lauren. Oops. okay and here I will store long text now I'll save and I can see here that I can find uh, my kind responses here in this list so let's say I want to remove the greeting message I don't want to use it anymore I just need to click here and now I can delete this kind response let's see what happens okay the cane response has been removed but now I I want to use this cane response I will go to the composer again I'll type the exclamation mark and my cane response will appear here and now I will click and select this can response and the text is now available to send to the user okay let's see what happens so as you guys can see here I just sent a message to the user and I just need to click and type here finding the kind of response that I was looking for okay so now I will create another kind of response here this is my shortcut in here I will store text okay so I have two kind response here and now if I type the exclamation mark they will be displayed to me so now I want to use the second one okay and now I type Y and then uh, the, the kind response this the kind response will be filtered okay according to the text that I just typed and now I will select my can response and I will send to the final user. So it's pretty simple. Okay. And as I, I mentioned before, we can also set up can responses per departments. So let's go to the omnichannel admin area. Let's open one of the departments I will select the first one here I can see on the top right corner uh, a can response button and I can see that the department doesn't have any can response configured yet so uh, it's similar uh, the process of creating can response per department and for users they are similar so uh, I will create here a greeting message okay hi 
welcome to the apartment one. How can I help you? Okay. So here we have now our first scan response created, and you can see that the scope of this uh, written message is per department. So this means that only the agents that are part of this department will have access to this scan response. Okay. So now we will go back to the omni-chain of conversation that we have here and we have a new kind of response here. So we have two. I have my own kind of response here that I have created before and also since I am part of the department one I also I have also access to this greeting message but there is a difference between this this the, the we, as I mentioned before we have a scope per user and this scope per department I am able to delete just the kind response that I I have created okay if I access this can response I am not able to delete it okay only only chain of managers can delete the can responses created for departments okay but I can use this can response okay I will use uh, as you guys can see here I have the greeting message here and I can just select and send this message to the final user okay so guys uh, I, uh, this is the kid response is a very helpful feature for agents and uh, as you just noticed it's uh, pretty simple to configure the candy response okay so I think that's it and see you next time